Hello, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of the Dohyo. We are doing another deep dive into the Shadow of Hakuho, going through Yusho number 10 through 13. Sotro! Hakuho! Hello, welcome back to the Dohyo on Mr. Jaywag's channel. Uh, we're going to have another fun episode here. Uh, thank you for joining us so much on the last few episodes, especially the last one about Harum of Fuji. I was glad we got to take the time, really dive into one of my favorite recent Yokozuna. But today, we're going right back to it. We're diving back into the shadow of Hakuho. Drop it. Any of you who are new to the channel, or especially new to any of the sumo stuff or Shadow of Hakuho, may want to go back to episode 7 of the Dohyo, where I set up all of the things that are going on with the Shadow of Hakuho. The TLDR is, uh, what would happen in a sumo world that didn't have the greatest sumo wrestler of all time, Hakuho Sho. So we're going through every single one of his tournament victories and figuring out who would have won had he not existed. Now today on the Shadow of Hakuho, we have a very busy day. We have four amazing basho to go through. First of all, you show number 10. March 2009. Hakuho wins with a Zensho Yusho of 15 and 0. June Yusho second place goes to Yokozuna Asa Shoryu, Megashira 7 Homasho. Next down at 10 wins is Ozeki Kota Oshu, Ozeki Harama Fuji, Megashira 1 Kakuryu, and Megashira 13 Chio Hakuho. No relation. And one win down from them at 9 and 6, we have Komasubi Goedo, Megashira 5, Amanishiki, Megashira 11, Asa Sekiryu, and Megashira 14, Tamawashi. So the story of this basho was basically Hakuho is cleaning up at 15 and 0, but who is the next tier down? There are a lot of people between 9 and 11 wins. How do we figure it out? Well, as I've said before, and I will say again in this exact episode that you're watching right now, I will always give Asa Shoryu the benefit of the doubt. Now here, he was already tied for the Jun Yusho. Homasho did not face any member of the Sanyaku, while Asa Shoryu, as Yokozuna, had to face the most difficult slate possible. Now, Asa Shoryu did lose to Koto Mitsuki, Koto Oshu, and Harumafuji Fuji in this tournament. I mean, as, as well as Hakuho. But I take it as a very good sign that if your four losses are three Ozeki and the greatest wrestler of all time, you were wrestling at the top of your game. And again, as I said before, Homasho faced no Sanyaku and lost to Chio Hakuho and Kakuryu. So that tells me in this situation, Homasho would have been given better opponents as the tournament went on had Hakuho been not winning 15 to nothing. Now you have a lot of very good wrestlers who are still in the mix of this one. Just one win down, you have Koto Oshu, Koto Mitsuki, and Kakuryu, who would of course become a Yokozuna in the near future in this alternate timeline as well. In this case, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to Asa Shoryu, but because there were a lot of really good wrestlers within two wins of the eventual total, and because of the huge gap between the 15 wins and the 11 wins of first and second place, this one is going to be Asa Shoryu. A definite maybe. Now, you show number 11. July 2009, Hakuho wins with a 14-1 and record. Second place, Jun Yusho goes to Ozeki Koto Oshu. One win down, Ozeki Kotomitsuki. And one win down from that, we get Megashira 3, Baruto, Megashira 5, Amanishiki, and Megashira 10, Shotenro. I think that Koto Oshu at this time, having the one win buffer between him and Kotomitsuki would be a big deal. And the other thing, and this is just a really weird, sort of horrible, nitpicky thing, but in this tournament, Kotomitsuki beat Hakuho, Koto Oshu lost to Hakuho. So, if we take Hakuho out of the whole equation, Koto Mitsuki loses a win and Koto Oshu loses a loss. So, in the absence of Hakuho, Koto Oshu would be two wins ahead of his nearest competitor. So in this case, I'm going to have to say, Koto Oshu, you have a strong case. So now that we've gotten that out of the way and Koto Oshu gets his strong case, what I'd like to do is take a moment to do a slight deep dive into Koto Mitsuki. <laughs> 
this is the last time we see Kota Mitsuki. And he had a fascinating career, and there isn't a lot of stuff written about him as opposed to, say, someone like Haku Hoarasa Shoryu. So, a few fun Kota Mitsuki facts. Number one, he is possibly the greatest uh, college wrestler in Japanese history. I didn't know that. He won 27 amateur titles at Nihon University. Because he won so many tournaments, he was allowed to start his sumo career at the rank of Makushita 60 because of a system called the Makushita Tsukedashi, I believe. He made his professional sumo debut in March 1999. The same tournament, a certain future Ozeki also made his debut all the way down in the low, 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 low divisions. Asa Shoryu. Kota Mitsuki leapt through the lower divisions in seven tournaments to finally make it up to the Makauchi division, at which point he immediately got injured, took 15 days of injury losses, and dropped back down into Jurio, and then, two tournaments later, popped right back up out of Jurio and up into the Megashira ranks. So officially, Kota Mitsuki made his debut in November of 2000, and it was quite a debut. He ended up taking the second place Jun Yusho with a 13-2 and record and sweeping the special prizes. That's a heck of a first tournament, would you say? He would go on to win his only Yusho in September of 2001 at Megashira 2. Now, this was a tournament where a lot of the Sanyaku was hurt or not performing very well, but he personally managed to beat... Yokozuna Musashi Maru, Ozeki Miyabiyama, Ozeki Chiyotaikai, and at that point, Megashira 1, Asa Shoryu. And for the rest of his career, he of course was sort of a mainstay in the Sanyaku, setting the record for most tournaments at Sekiwake, 22 tournaments at Sekiwake, uh, and finishing second in seven more tournaments, I believe, bringing him to eight Jun Yusho for his entire career. He holds the record for the oldest person ever promoted to Ozeki for the first time at 31 years and three months, so all that time at Sekiwake managed to help him out a bit. He managed to stay at Ozeki for 17 tournaments, only going Kataban twice for two injuries. And I guess for the purposes of this experiment, we could say he was 9 and 23 versus Hakuho in his career. So he would have gotten probably 23 much better chances at victory had Hakuho never existed. Now we get into the part of his career that is a little less fun. So he made Ozeki very late in his career, uh, and then a few years into that, 17 Basho after his promotion, he was expelled from Sumo for gambling. Not gambling on sumo. He was gambling on baseball games. This was a very, very big deal back in the early 2000s. This is as best as I can piece up from the research I can do. So, Kota Mitsuki was betting on baseball games, and he went to go collect this huge winnings from that he won on a baseball game. So, yay, he's going to win all this money. And then, uh, the Japanese mafia, the Yakuza, who was sort of, he was gambling with, decided, hey, we are not going to pay you, we are in fact going to blackmail you, because if they figure out that you're a sumo wrestler and you're gambling, they're going to fire you. So, this is what happened. Kota Mitsuki ended up paying millions of yen to the Japanese mafia, and then lying to the Japanese Sumo Association about it later. And so he eventually, after all this was, uh, it, it was a huge scandal, it blew up in the papers, but he was allowed to retire as an Ozeki with his rank, and he was allowed to retire with all of the retirement pay he was owed. This was, I said, a large scandal. Thirteen other wrestlers were caught up in it. Uh, the ones you might remember from recent memory. Uh, Goedo. Oki Noumi and Toyo Noshima, some of the recent people who have uh, been in the top division, Okumi's still there, they all had to take 15 losses as a Kyujo because they were suspended for a full tournament for being a part of this scandal. As best as I can figure it out, these other wrestlers were not completely kicked out of sumo because Kota Mitsuki, he was Ozeki, he was the highest ranked, and they caught him lying to the JSA. Kota Mitsuki appealed the conviction, but he was not allowed back into sumo. He ended up opening up a restaurant, which later, I believe, was fined for using immigrant labor without their proper visa paperwork. And now, I feel we all know a bit more about Kota Mitsuki. Back to the shadow of Hakuho. You show number 12. November 2009, Hakuho wins again with a perfect record, 15-0. Second place is Megashira 8, Tochi Notion, and Megashira 9, Miyabiyama, with a 12-3 record. One win down at 11-5, Yokozuna Asa Shoryu. And one win below that, Ozeki Kotooshu with a 10-5 record. This was a very interesting basho, especially because this contains, I think anyway, the deepest Sanyaku Banzake ever. 
Now, of course, you know the Sanyaku are the top rankers. Just look at the lineup of the top ranks of this tournament. All right, so at the top, Asa Shoryu, then Hakuho at Yokozuna, then five Ozeki, Kota Woshu, Kota Mitsuki, Harumafuji, Kayo, and Chio Taikai. Then your Seki Wake are Baruto and Kakuryu, and then your Komasubi are Kisano Sato and Goedo. Now the fascinating thing about that lineup is that, first of all, every single one of those wrestlers is going to achieve extra credit under the shadow of Hakuo. Except Kayo. Sorry. But also, every single member of that Sanyaku went on to be an Ozeki or a Yokozuna, and I don't know if that's ever happened in a Sanyaku of that size. If anyone knows where you've seen uh, a Sanyaku of 11 people, where all of them made Ozeki or better and won tournaments, please let me know in the comments. We'd love to know. This, this was a tough one to wrap my mind around because this one was another, it was a Zen show and we had a bunch of people lower down in the rankings. This is one of the very few times I'm not going to pick someone who was ranked second. Miyabiyama and Tochi Notion, great wrestlers. Tochi Notion, of course, later in his career went back from a huge leg injury and ended up winning the tournament a couple years ago and made Ozeki. Great story for him. We're about a decade before that now. He was a young, sexy, up-and-coming Georgian. And then we had Mia Biyama, who was a uh, former big deal, sort of working his way down from the Ozeki level, down in the Megashira level. For the record, neither Mia Biyama nor Tochi Notion faced any Sanyaku, and when they met up head-to-head, -head, Tochi Notion won. So then we take it one step down to 11 wins with Asa Shoryu, as I said before in earlier episodes and earlier in this video, which is me quoting me. I think Asa Shoryu would have the extra little bit of push that would have gotten him to the championship. I did not think either of those two Megashira was going to walk away with the championship, especially because in a world without Hakuho, they would have faced much tougher opponents like Asa Shoryu and Kotu Woshu. Now in this tournament, they did face off in Kotu Woshu, beat Asa Shoryu, but, as I've said before and will say again, I really believe Asa Shoryu having the one win bonus on Kota Woshu here would have ended up taking the Yusho in this situation. But it's not a lock, and it's not a strong case. So Asa Shoryu, once again, you get a definite maybe. And now, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to another legend of sumo. Asa Shoryu, this was his last tournament. Now you may say, not his last tournament, this is the last time he will appear in Shadow of Hakuho. This was another thing I wanted to take into account with this last Basho, is that Asa Shoryu won the tournament before this, and he won the tournament after it, which would be his last tournament victory. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there about Asa Shoryu if you want to dive more into his career and all of his excitement on why he had to retire, feel free to do so. So for Shadow of Hakuho purposes, we will have him retiring at the same point he retired in real, actual life, life. Final Yusho of the episode, Yusho number 13, March 2010. Hakuho wins with another Zensho Yusho. Second place, Jun Yusho Seki Wake Baruto. Next highest wrestlers all the way down at 11 and 4. Megashira 6, Tochi Ozan, and there were 8 wrestlers at 10 and 5. Alright, so this one was actually pretty easy. This was uh, sort of the ascendance of Baruto, the big, round, big, uh, Estonian, who looks sort of like a cross between a giant baby and Hank from Breaking Bad, became a sumo wrestler, and won a lot. So this one... Uh, there was no one anywhere near within shouting distance of him. So, Baruto, you're going to get this Yusho in a lock. Thank you for joining us again on Mr. J. Wag's channel for another dive into the shadow of Hakuho. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful feedback we've been having. I've been having a lot of fun making these videos. Everyone out there, please stay safe, keep washing your hands, and I hope you all are doing really, really well. We will see you next time on the Dojo! Mm. Sinking slow